welcome to canopy of science today we are going to learn how plants breathe in and breathe out so let's embark on this journey happy learning we human beings have nose similarly other animals also have nose nose helps us to breathe in and breathe out have you ever seen any nose on plants we all know that plants are also living beings so they definitely breathe in and breathe out they also need oxygen to remain alive here the question arises then how does plants breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide from their body let me tell you just like we have our nose plants have their stomata stomata is the nose of plants which help them to breathe in and breathe out stomata are present on the leaves but why we cannot see them with our eyes this is because they are very tiny pores which cannot be seen with our naked eyes we need an instrument called microscope to see the stomata stomata are tiny pores or holes which are present on the surface of the leaves which help the plants to exchange gases with the atmosphere there are about 300 stomata per square millimeter of area of a leaf out of this majority of stomata are present on the lower surface of the leaves and few stomata are present on the upper surface of leaf too now let us see how does a stomata look under a microscope here in this picture you can see a number of stomata together if we focus on one stomata it will look like this the parts of the stomata are this is guard cell inside guard cell you can see the nucleus of the guard cell and these are multiple chloroplasts there are two walls of the stomata this is the inner wall and this is the outer wall you can clearly see in this picture that the inner wall is thicker whereas the outer wall is thinner we have two guard cells which are encircling a pore which is called the stomatal pore through this stomatal pore oxygen goes inside the plant body and carbon dioxide will come out of the plant body so we can say that two guard cells along with the stomatal pore form a complete stomata this is the picture of stomata when it is open now in this picture you can see the stomata which is closed why this is a closed stomata this is because here you cannot see the stomatal pore so when the stomata remains closed the stomatal pore is not visible and hence neither gas can enter plants nor gas can leave the plant body let us now see both the pictures side by side This is the stomata which is open and this is the closed stomata. Now you will ask the question how the stomata is opening and how they are closing. So let me tell you the science behind this. When water enters the guard cells, the guard cells swell up just like a balloon and move away from one another and finally the stomatal pore will open. just the reverse occur when the stomata closes when the water comes out of the guard cells the guard cells will become flaccid and collapse and finally they will come close to one another and the stomata will hence close along with water one important mineral called potassium also helps in this process When potassium enters the guard cells the stomata opens and when the potassium comes out of the guard cells stomata closes so now let's sum up what are the important functions of the stomata number 1 stomata helps in breathing of plants this is what we have learned today just like any other living being when stomata is open plants breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide number 2 stomata helps in photosynthesis 
And number three, stomata also helps in transpiration. How stomata helps in photosynthesis and transpiration, we will learn that in coming educational videos. So do not forget to subscribe to Canopy of Science and stay tuned.